all right hello everyone and uh, peace of christ to all of you uh, our topic is going to be short i will do my best to keep the video uh, very short so you guys can download it and i'm doing this early uh, morning broadcast for a very simple reason uh first so those who live in far asia they can get their chance to join us live on air and to be able to join our chat i know a lot not many people will be up because most of the the one who uh, uh listen to our program is those who live in the state maybe uh one of you sent me this uh website <clears throat> and the muslim said to this person this lady that there is many lies about islam as you see this is an article written by muslims uh false stories about the prophet muhammad false stories about the prophet muhammad but what make it more funny i'm not going to discuss by the way if they are false or not because i don't really care and i will tell you why you see do you see who is the one who is writing those stories did you notice ibn ishaq al-waqidi ibn sa'd al-tabari and the list is so long but those are the scholars of islam and those are the best of the Muslims. And those are the one who brought the history of Muhammad to the Muslims. And everything the Muslims have is coming from those people. And for sure, the list is not here, by the way. The list is so long. Muslims, they accuse everybody of, of lying. Sahih al-Bukhari of full of lies. You, you can ask the Muslims. They will say to you, Sahih al-Bukhari, which is the most authentic books in Islam, they say to you, it's a full of lies. And that is going to tell me one thing. That Islam is a false religion. How the new generation of Islam today, they can judge the old generation of Islam yesterday and they say those people are liars. The answer is very simple. They are ashamed of what is written about their prophet. They are in contact with different kinds of civilization and now they feel they are really ashamed of what is written about their prophet as simple as that and this is will lead me to a very serious question as long your scholars are a bunch of liars and you muslims you are telling us that our scholars are liars so where you learn your islam from you muslims yourself uthman himself the one who collect the quran was killed by muslims and accused to be a false muslim and not only that they buried him in the graveyard of the jews <clears throat> They refused to bury him with the Jews. With the, with, the, with the Muslims, sorry. They buried him with the Jews. Not only that, before they killed him, they did what ISIS do with their enemies. They were taking his hair one by one from his beard. They torture him. If those are your leaders and the one who gave you Islam, they are killed for being accused to be false Muslims. So who is the one is the true Muslims in Islam? Articles are made. <clears throat> Fatwa number 122534. And by the way, some of you said to me, can you show us the reference, etc.? My friend, you can freeze any of those videos and you can type exactly a few words as it is like here. Okay, just type a line and then you will find the exact reference. Like type the question as an example here. Refutation of the lies about the prophet blessing upon him married to Aisha when she was 18 years old. So now the Muslims are refuting Muslims and the Muslims accusing Muslims of lying. So the first group of Muslims they say Hadith al-Bukhari al saying that Aisha she was six years old is a lie. Other group of Muslims they say no you are the liars it's true. <laughs> And 
what make it more funny that this religion is based in two sources Quran and Sunnah and Sunnah mean whatever Muhammad he said order or the companions especially the early generation so how we can trust such a cult which it's based in two sources as you see Islamic source Quran and Sunnah so what is the Islamic source all Muslims agree huh, by the way oh there is some Muslims now the new generation they say to themselves oh we are Quran only but the Quran is a stupid book too as an example they say to you well, you know, the Quran is the only book we believe in. They don't want to believe in the Sunnah no more because Sunnah is a disaster. They thought they can go to the Quran and hide behind it because the Quran is a plain stupid book. If you read here, uh, let us see what they are saying. Hmm. Read with me. Hadith is inter, 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 integral uh, to the Quran. Since they, since they are inseparably linked to each other, it is impossible to understand the Quran without the reference of the Hadith. But the Muslims don't agree about the Hadith. And they keep fighting over it and they keep denying and accepting and denying and accepting but it's impossible to understand the Quran without the hadith and this is the they are the one who is saying that you see the one is talking here Sheikh Ahmad Kuti how are you doing mr. Kuti nice to meet you I hope every Kuti in the family is doing good so it's impossible to understand this Quran without the hadith but the Muslims cannot understand the Quran even after the hadith who said that the Muslims understand the Quran the Quran is not a valid source the Muslim they just get themselves busted you see if Allah is God and he sent the book and the Muslim they said the book of Allah is the book of guidance and now we see the Muslims saying and they agree that it's impossible to understand the Quran without the hadith but the hadith is not a trustworthy that's mean the Quran first is not a complete message of God because it's based on stories written in other books and those books anyway are not authentic actually the Quran itself is not authentic the Muslims until now they don't even have a single copy of the Quran of Muhammad they don't even have the Quran of Uthman. Mus'haf of Uthman does not exist. They say to you there is a copy in Istanbul, there is a copy in Cairo. This is the lie. They don't have any copy. You see, if you open the Quran you have in Arabic, it says that this Quran is according to, re to the recitation of Hafs. Hafs is a person who exists 200 years after Muhammad. Recitation, not written. Recitation they didn't even have the book of house <laughs> You see if they have the book of Uthman, there is no need for the recitation of house. Are you getting my point? If I say to you that this book is written according to house according to Asim, according to etc 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 according, according recitation huh? according not writing according recording record all this record according and then at the end you say to me according to the Prophet Muhammad so what is the last recitation we receive from? It is Hafs. Hafs is exist 200 years after Muhammad. And nobody have his book. So the Quran is invalid. There is no reference of it. The Muslim, they were so happy because somebody, actually he is a Christian priest, he delivered a page, uh, a leather page, uh, and the Quran written in it. And the age of the leather, not the ink, is to the time of Muhammad. They were so excited because they have no manuscript. And now, as long Muslims agree that Islam is based on Quran and in the Hadith, and you Muslims keep accusing your own source of lying, how in the world anyone is a crazy is going to accept Islam? You are the one saying to us that our scholars are a bunch of liars. You are making articles about it. You are making articles about the previous scholars that they are liars, as we see here in this case. Because this article here, 
it says that they are lying about what about the story of the Prophet in Sahih al-Bukhari and other books which mean the one who made the accusation first that those books are lying he is accusing the earlier scholars to be liars and I will refute those people who said all those stories for us. This is your Islamic official website, Islamic question and answer. Sheikh Saleh Al Munjid. Sheikh Saleh is going to get you busted, Muslims. In this article, not only he proved that Aisha, her age was six years old, look what he said at the end. You can get the article, search for it, please, and you can find it. All right. <clears throat> Let us see what he said. All those references about Aisha age. <clears throat> uh, for more information, please see the answer, etc. What is required for anyone who speak about any branch of knowledge is that he should speak on the basis of knowledge and fairness far removed from ignorance uh, etc and then he says it is a, a sufficient evil for a person to fabricate a view that was not uttered by any of the scholars through the centuries this is indicate that this view is wrong Sheikh al-islam ibn taymiyya said Every view, every view, guys, read carefully with me. Every view is is healed by only one later scholar and not by any of the earlier scholar, for which there is no precedent among any of the earlier scholar is wrong. So the Muslims now they just answer us and they refute each other and they get themselves busted. Anyone who accused the earlier scholar of lying, he is a fraud. Did you see it? Anyone who accused the earlier scholars of lying, he is a fraud. This is what they are saying. And this is the fatwa. And this is the name of the book. And Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is one of the highest authority in Islam. So why they are accusing their scholars, their earlier scholars of a fraud? because what is written about Muhammad after filtration is shameful and somebody will ask himself why those scholars wrote those horrible stories about Muhammad killing raping etc my friend when the Muslims at the beginning they, they were writing they were proud about this they were proud you see if you go to the ISIS territory they, don't, they will not say this is not true they are proud about it they will quote it they, they encourage their people to do the same those hypocrite who they are Muslims today, they are ashamed of their cult. So the only solution to get away with it, to say it is a lie. But Muslims for centuries, as you see in the front of your eyes, they were proud about it. This is why none of those scholars deny those stories. When Ibn Ishaq was writing it, he was not accused by a Muslim to be a fraud and nobody killed him. Actually, he was hired by the Caliphate. The caliphate you know what i mean those are in their time the scholars of the nation and not a single person there even to say they are not scholars so what happened now what is the update the update is that today people they are reading and people they are discovering and people they can have a freedom to speak and before nobody dare to say Muhammad was a rapist Muhammad is a criminal Muhammad is a fraud so anyone who disagree with the earliest scholars is a fraud and this is the link anyone would like to have it let me post it for you in the text in the chat this is Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and as you see here they are refuting the Muslims who keep lying saying that Aisha she was not at the age of six when the Prophet did marry her go and search how many articles written by the Muslims that Aisha she was at the age of six go and see how many Muslims they say to you oh it's a weak hadith it's a lie hadith but the fact it's not 
simply just because they are ashamed of what is written about their prophet have you ever heard of a Christian saying what Jesus said is weak have you ever heard of a Christian saying what Peter said is weak I mean why we don't have weak because we have nothing to be ashamed of you see even the Old Testament which have a stories of war and violent and etc I never heard of a Christian saying it's weak why because we have the truth a person who deny what is written in his book simply he is a fraud he have no dignity they are not a true believers in their own books as simple as that I cannot stay longer because I want to keep the video short so you guys you can download it just to let you know my channel in Arabian Prophet soon I will empty it from all the videos which they are mostly most of it I will keep only a few so if you want to download go ahead and download and share and I will keep this channel just for live broadcast which means after I finish broadcast the video I will give it a few hours for people to download and then we will repost the videos in other channels like Arab for Christ or Christian Prince, etc. And this channel will be only for broadcast. And for you know, I have my reason for that. So please, after we finish broadcast, download the video, share it in Facebook, Twitter, whatever. I mean, whatever form you can allow you to have a, a, a longer video. Please do, because this is how we can keep refutation for the Muslims, and this is how you can refute them when you need the refutation. I will not be alive forever time will come and I will die and I'm glad to die because I'm a believer for our death is just a new life not the end of life thank you very much for being with us and as you see from the mouth of Muslims Islam is based on lies for all those Islamic historian are the only source of Islam so if they are the historian of Islam and they are a bunch of liars if Al Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, At Turmuzi, At Tabari, Ibn Ishaq, all those names, big names, are liars. Who is not a liar in Islam then? The Prophet himself, my friend, he said you can lie in three cases. Your Prophet himself is a liar. Your Prophet, he promised his wives he will not have sex with the slaves. And the second day he broke he broke his oath. Your prophet himself, he ordered you to practice taqiyya, which means you can lie and you can say, ah, oh, I can, I love you, but I don't mean it. This is the truth, my friend. Just face it. Islam is a cult. However, we love the Muslims and we want to save them and we don't want to hate them. And we don't, want, we don't want them to be victims of the lies of Muhammad. My friend, if you are a Muslim and listening to me, there is no heaven full of vagina and virgins. That is a lie. How come you are worried about what at tabari said, but you are not worried about your prophet in the Quran promising you women who they have nobody touch their vagina? How come you are worried about Bukhari seeing the prophet Mary Aisha at the age of six, but you are not worried about your, your prophet is speaking about little boys will be in the heaven serving you for eternity? Child abuse. How come you are not worried about the Quran saying beat your wife and marry four and you know and divorce as many as you wish? How come you are not worried about the Quran saying do muta, do killing, do hate? I mean, the Quran now is your trustworthy, your trustworthy book is disgusting. So stop trying to escape the truth. One more thing, the logic of Muslims is very funny. If you go to chapter three, verse number 50, uh, 65, it said. Ye people of the book, why dispute about Abraham when the law and the gospel were not revealed till after him? Have you no understanding? Look how stupid Allah. And look how stupid the author of the Quran. If I go by this verse, I will ask the Muslim the same question. Why you are disputing today about what is revealed before? 1400 years after. And just to show you how stupid the one who wrote this verse 
if Muhammad saying that the one who came after Abraham, which means the one who came next, he have no right the, about to, to to dispute about the one who came before, isn't it Muhammad the last one? I mean, do you see how stupid the logic? Muhammad he just said that how you can dispute about Abraham when you are a person came you know your belief came after so but is it him who came at the end <laughs> my friend when your prophet is a prophet Muslims they believe he was bewitched when your prophet like the Muslim they say the story of satanic verses is a lie my friend it's in the Quran it's in the Quran the Quran says Allah whatever a shaitan he throw in the mouth of the prophet he will take it off it's in the Quran <laughs> this is how funny and how silly Muhammad is and his religion thank you very much for being with us please feel free to download the video usually it take about 10 minutes 15 minutes for the video to uh, to be loaded so you can download it thank you very much and may the Lord bless you and we see you again today around 4 30 and don't forget this coming saturday we have a debate with sheikh rohi from al -Azhar university he have a phd in islam he is a sheikh from egypt and is going to be at 4 30 p.m saturday this saturday so be with us and tell your friends don't forget to subscribe and this is a christian prince read my books learn about the cult of islam you can always search for my books in amazon.com just type Christian Prince books and you will see the list of my books in many languages and my books uh, my new two books about uh, sex and Allah is going to be published in less than 20 uh, at 24 hours maybe it's already actually in, in publishing processing so it's going to be in Amazon in the coming a day or a day and a half from now thank you very much and may the Lord bless you all and see you soon again bye bye